So we talked last time about transactions, transactions in a business, and every time there's an event that affects money or affects the finances of the business some way, we want to record it because it is a transaction. So now we start to look at, well, this thing called the five elements. So the five elements is sort of whenever you have a transaction, there will be some effect on one or more of these elements. And when we say element, it's just another way of saying a classification or a type of thing. So let me show you. So here are the five elements. So whenever there's a transaction, we can start to think, well, some of these transactions may affect some of these items. So some things might affect assets, okay? So some, some things might be asset related, and assets we'll look at next, and these are the things that we own. But some things affect liabilities. So these are maybe things that we owe to other people. Sometimes a transaction might affect this thing called owner's equity. Now don't worry if you don't know that term yet, we'll go through it. Uh, some things will affect revenue. So revenue, or another word for it is income. So we'll look at that soon. And then some things might, some transactions might be expenses. So that's another item there. Now you'll notice here that they all have a nice abbreviation. So they've all got letters there for each of the elements. Now it's quite important. Now these are the five main elements of accounting. We're going to be looking at a bit of an equation next. Um, but we have assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenue, and expenses. These are the five main things. Whenever there's a transaction, it's going to impact on an element, or maybe more than one element. So when we record it, we need to know which element it goes to. And that's where we're going to head. We're going to look at each of these elements and look at defining what each of them 